spring's around the corner and you might be thinking about pre-emergent herbicides, or you might have thought about them already when we had that warm spell. Uh, some tips to control what we're after is generally looking at, you know, timing our pre-emergent herbicide with crabgrass. So if we're doing it really early, let's say when we, we warmed up about a week or two ago, we don't really need to put it down that early, but it's not going to hurt the pre-emergent to sit there. As long as we got it watered in, it's not going to do much until we warm up and then it's going to be active for crabgrass. Uh, if, if you're wanting to get a longer season out of your pre-emergent control, when you get it closer to crabgrass emergence, it's obviously going to last longer throughout the season. So a couple tips to go through is, you know, try and get it as close to crabgrass emergence as you can if that's your target. If you're trying to time your application on soil temperatures, what I go by is the four inch depth. If you get to 50 degrees average throughout the day for five days, that's generally when crabgrass will start emerging. And also get it watered in as soon as you can. If you're using a sprayable product, make sure you get that watered in within 24 hours. A granular product, you have a lot more leeway because that product falls down below the grass and does a lot better. Uh, so make sure those get watered in. And if you have hot spots along sidewalks, those might be areas that you want to hit first um, and then come back later in those areas with the split application. If you have a nice healthy lawn, it's generally not going to be crabgrass infested because the lawn is going to outcompete the crabgrass and usually one application at the higher label rate will get you through the season.